Hello there, this is Sword with Audiosmith, and today we're taking a look at the ND Earphone ZR. This I am was sent to me for review by ND Earphone, but as always, all thoughts and opinions remain my own. And as always, audio is extremely subjective and everyone has their own preferences and their own ears, so we all hear a little bit differently, so my thoughts might not be yours. The ND ZR is pretty much a standard $25 set for what's included in the box. It comes with a standard cable that's not great. This one has a little bit of, quite a bit of memory to it and the ear hooks and they'll flip around and you have to kind of fight with them a little bit. They come with one set of ear tips that are actually okay. Um, the shells are actually seem to be built quite nice. I really like translucent shells. I'm a sucker for them. I really love being able to see inside and be able to look at some of the wiring. Just something I like. But overall, it's pretty much a standard $25 unboxing set. There's nothing really special going on here. The NDZR is just a single night dynamic driver. ND really likes to do unique tunings and things that are out of the box and definitely not Harmonish, at least from the two sets that I've tried. They're very different. <laughs> but that being said, there's been something special on both of the sets that I have tried, which is this one and the ND001. It's just that the base is just something special. I'm not, I'm not sure exactly what they're doing or how they're tuning it there, but the quality of their base is just bizarre it's really good and at $25 the set manages to do similar to what the 001 does but it's definitely not an all-rounder for the base region it there's just a sharpness to it there's a really strong attack to it but it, the whole sound is sharp it's not rounded like most of the budget sets that I've tried are where it's you get you know it's there the note weight's pretty good but it just doesn't have that crispness like on kick drums and toms and stuff. It, it just doesn't come across that great where these like stand out and there's a good amount of detail. It never really is bloated in the bass section. There's a section in the mids. We'll talk about that. Um, but the bass region for tracks with a lot of bass heavy instruments these sound really good now for the mid range the lower mids are okay the upper mids there's so much energy and so much going on here it's overpowering if you have lots of flutes going on or lots of guitars and trumpets and stuff you just it just overpowers everything else it really just takes the foreground and kind of throws everything else away. So it definitely makes it hard to listen to certain genres on this. There was a lot of instrumental tracks that I quite enjoyed that were fantastic with these. Some weren't. It It's a really weird niche tuning, but it's still some, something I enjoy here. Uh, if you listen to a lot of vocal heavy stuff, Vocals are, mm, if you like to be yelled at, if that's something you enjoy, these do it well. These are extremely shouty. Vocals are just thrown right up in your face, especially if there's not a lot going on else with the mids. Yeah, vo vocals, vocals, the mid range is definitely an issue with this set and most likely will be for most of the people that try it uh, for the treble the treble comes across actually fairly detailed there's it's definitely not the smoothest treble but it's also not that peaky or overly done to an extent where i'm getting sibilance on lots of tracks or anything like that it it could be smoother but i think i think it does a pretty good job as for technicalities, the ZR is fairly resolving. 
There's not really any issues with congestion from base bleed. There is a bit of issues due to the mids that do make themselves apparent, like I said previously. Soundstage and imaging are actually pretty good for a budget set. Nothing... It doesn't stand out enough to emphasize on it, but it's more than what I'm used to in sets that, at this price range. As for gaming performance with the ZR, it's it's really going to depend on the games that you play, if you do decide to game with these. The soundstage and imaging is good. It lends well to some shooters, it lends well to some immersive games because of it. But depending on what's going on in the game, that upper mid region can cause problems. Escape from Tarkov handled the upper mids actually quite well. I was thinking that there was going to be some issues for that game, but it remained nice and coherent. Imaging was good, soundstage was good, it was actually pretty immersive. They landed well to that game, but for other games, if you play Apex Legends, Counter-Strike or something, it might not lend itself as good as it did to Tarkov. Elden Ring felt good at first until I kind of started playing and, you know, getting more into it and had more going on. The upper mids did get a little bit distracting in it. It still remained a decent level of immersion, but it was definitely enough to distract me from what was going on in the game at times. Again, depending what immersive game you're playing, it could do it better, but the, the soundstage and imaging is still good. Compared to the Zygot Nuo, I found the Nuo quite a bit more boring in sound. It just didn't have enough going on or an oomph or something special behind it to really keep me entertained with it. Whereas with the ZR, it was kind of the opposite. There's a lot going on. I really enjoyed that bass. The treble's pretty good for a $25 set. And then the mid range during the right songs would be nice. And then other things it wouldn't. So the Nuo is definitely the more safer all rounder pick, but the ZR is more of the unique niche special tuning. In conclusion, the NDZR is kind of a, a weird one. It, I definitely can't give it a general recommendation just because it's not gonna fit most people's libraries. Most people probably won't enjoy listening to this. But at the same time, the bass on these <laughs> is so good <laughs> and it outperforms a lot of sets, many, most of my sets that I've tried for this, the bass that comes out of these. That I would definitely say if you could try it, you maybe give it a try. Maybe you'll like it like I do. But yeah, it's definitely not an all-rounder. It performs good on certain instrumentals, certain jazz tracks, but it's so much of my library this is wasted on. It, it just doesn't pair well. But when it does, it's actually really good. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions and want to talk about the NDZR, definitely leave a comment down below. I'm always happy to chat there. And... I will have links to purchase it down below if anyone is interested. Have a good one. Peace.